Hello, this is Lindsay from Equip Me OT today to talk about installing a tub transfer bench. So today I have a standard plastic hard body tub transfer bench that has been pre-assembled. If you have any questions or concerns about how to assemble a tub transfer bench, please check out our other YouTube video which will go into great detail about that. As you can see, this one has already been set in place. Um, special things to consider when you're actually putting these in place is you want to make sure that you've check the level. Um, in this particular tub and floor they're the same height so I did not have to adjust the legs to be different heights but frequently you'll find that the tub floor may be higher or the actual bathroom floor might be slightly higher so these legs can be adjusted to accommodate that because you want this to be as level as possible. Um, you also want to make sure that the floor you're placing it on is a clean uh, obstruction free floor because you have suction cups on this side here that you really want to hold this in place to make your transfer safe. So remove any floor mats or um, sticky grips that may be on the floor to allow for a good clean suction hold. As you can see this one's really in place those suction cups really do hold quite well. Also when considering placing this um, you need to know the person that's going to be using the bench and consider their leg length how they're able to move. So for example, if somebody's had a knee replacement or another in, or an injury that may limit their ability to bend their legs, this tub bench can go quite a bit farther back into the tub to accommodate the room for them to slide their legs over without bending them. For me, I put this right in the middle because I can bend my knees just fine. It's more of an issue of stability. So we're gonna set this here. They do have a little wiggle to them. That's normal. Because of the way they're assembled, there's a lot of joints. They're very lightweight. They do move a little bit. Don't be alarmed. They are stable. They're going to hold you. So just be aware that they do have a little bit of wiggle to them. Now, once these are in place, an important consideration is how am I going to keep the water from spraying out of the shower? So that's a pretty easy solution if you already have a shower curtain in place. If you have a metal and glass surround for your shower with the glass doors, you're going to need to remove those glass doors first before even installing the tub bench. So once those glass doors are removed, if this is a temporary solution and you would like to keep the glass surround, feel free to leave the metal hold around it. Um, if for some reason this is a more permanent solution, I would consider removing the metal surround and just installing a, a sh um, standard shower curtain rod. Uh, it's just easier, it works a lot better with this type of equipment. Now, what you're going to need next is a cheap plastic shower curtain. And I emphasize cheap because you're going to cut it. So, I have this plastic shower curtain here. What you're going to do is you're going to open the shower curtain all the way to the edge of the tub. Like this. And then pull this one aside. And then you're going to check where this um, tub bench is along the shower curtain. As you can see, you've got this little crease here that works perfectly if you cut the shower curtain with two slits and slide those that little slit that you've created down into this crease, which sometimes takes a little doing. You're going to pull it down through. If you choose not to cut it, you can do that as well. Um, I just find that it makes it much cleaner and it slides down better, a little easier. Um, once it's pulled through, that's really going to keep the water from then spraying out and soaking your entire bathroom while you're taking your shower. So a little bit less concern. It's really helpful to have a second person if you have some dexterity issues or something where you're having a hard time sliding this through. So just to take that into consideration, if you do have somebody that can help you when you're taking your shower. So obviously once you're done with your shower, you can slide this out of the way and you're left with a nice dry kit, um, bathroom floor. So another thing to consider when you're installing a tub transfer bench is some of the accessories that I highly recommend. First thing I very much recommend anytime somebody's going to be doing a seated shower is a handheld shower head. So just removing the existing shower head that is there and replacing it with one of these with the long hose can make all the difference in the world for comfort and for independence with the ability to take your own showers because having that shower spray directly in your face is really abrupt. Um, so these are really quite simple to install. They come in many, many styles and forms. So take a you know, little time and figure out what you like, but they all install fairly easy, no plumber necessary. I also highly recommend if you do get a handheld shower head to consider a handheld shower head holder. 
the inexpensive ones that I've seen are mostly suction cup attached so you can attach them to your shower wall and it will hold that shower head in place so that you don't have to set it down or balance it on your knee or just let it fall down on the floor and have it spraying everywhere while you're doing your shower. So that's a really nice little piece of equipment that makes the process much easier. Um, and they're only like eight or nine dollars. So I'll have equipment information available at the end of the video um, in our information section. The last thing I wanna bring up is what you do when you're done with your shower. So in this particular bathroom, you can see we have a toilet on the opposite side of the shower bench. Because these shower benches stick out a little bit, you need to take into consideration the amount of space left. So these long galley style bathrooms, you may need to remove the shower bench in between showers, place it in the shower so it's out of the way, not a trip hazard for somebody coming through to use the toilet. So that covers it. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them in our comments section and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you.